The tool of choice has been a simple open source software program colorfully named Low Orbit Ion. Canon. Known as LOIC, or, LOIC, that requires no technical hacker skills to use. All a would-be laser wielder would need to is download the tool, which they can operate manually or connect to, Hive Mind, a control system that make their computers part of a voluntary botnet that anonymous commands. It's an interesting vocabulary choice. Most botnets are operated by organized crime groups who use viruses to install malicious software and then link their involuntary conscripts hyphen in some cases. Millions of them hyphen into networks used for everything from spamming to dis attacks. Anonymous promised the LOIC is not a virus and that the chances of getting caught or arrested for using it are next to zero. Some, including Malcolm Gladwell, have noted how little personal risk has been involved in digital activism. But in this case, it may not be without danger. Unless LOIC users employ additional tools to make themselves anonymous, their IP addresses hyphen the numerical strings that identify their computers hyphen are visible. Meaning these users can be tracked, according to Dutch university researchers. The current attack technique can therefore be compared to overwhelming someone with letters. But putting your address at the back of the envelope, they said. Indeed. Two Dutch teens have been arrested. So how big is this voluntary pro WikiLeaks army anyway? It's hard to know. The Windows version of LOIC was downloaded more than 53,000 times late last week, according to the developer, who goes by the name, Ned Warakraka. A new, similar program has emerged called HOIC, or Higher Orbit Ion Cannon. And there is a Mac version of LOIC, though it apparently can't be connected to HiveMind. On Sunday, someone released an attack tool for mobile devices. For those who didn't dare download software, there was a website where they could hit the anointed targets. Though their attack amounted to hitting refresh on the target sites a bunch of times. 50,000 is probably the high watermark for a possible participant tally, says Craig Laberitz, chief scientist at security firm Arbor Networks. People tend to drop off, and lots of security pros have been downloading the tools. Too. However, Mr. Labowitz notes that a well-designed botnet doesn't need millions of machines to gum up the sites. Works. Especially when hitting sites that aren't well defended. Today's more sophisticated as attacks make specific, highly costly requests of a target servers. Essentially, they crank, call a pizza place and order lots of pizzas with complicated toppings. Rather than just fill up the shop's phone lines. Right now. He said he didn't think LOIC was very sophisticated, but it has been improving. And, we've seen with Linux what a dedicated group of volunteers can do, Mr. Labowitz says. To date, online political activism has been focused on Temer activities. Communicating and expressing opinions, raising money, recruiting volunteers and organizing real-world gatherings. This more aggressive action is destined to provoke more calls for more controls on the internet," said Rebecca McKinnon, co-founder of Global Voices Online, at a symposium held by Personal Democracy Forum in New York. Rather than quash internet freedom, we ought to examine the source of the conflict, she argued. The public square is moving into a digital realm where the infrastructure is owned and controlled by private companies hyphen from payment processes to Amazon and Facebook hyphen with no legal requirement to protect controversial speech. Companies need to recognize they have this responsibility, she said, and put accountable processes in place for deciding who may or may not use the infrastructure. Meanwhile, WikiLeaks sympathizers would be better off taking more effective steps, like mirroring or making online copies of WikiLeaks website argued the Hacker Magazine 2600. Helping WikiLeaks stay online is a much better method of keeping the flow of information free. You want to see Anonymous rise up? Try to shut down the message. Try to, try to squash the message. Try to chill our speech. Then you'll see what Anonymous can do.
The computer hacker group Anonymous is claiming tonight that it took down the website of the Federal Appeals Court in San Francisco this afternoon. They took down Senate.gov servers, they've taken down H.B. Gary, Sony's claiming they did $150 million worth of damage. So many confidential files that tonight, because of these hackers, can be in the hands of anyone. Visa, MasterCard, the PayPal situation. The criminals who hacked into Sarah Palin's private email. The Church of Scientology says Anonymous is a cyber terrorist group of religious bigots. Anonymous and this other group called a Lulz Sec. They seem to be wanting to prove a point. We stand for freedom. We stand for freedom of speech, the power of the people, the ability for them to protest against the government, to right wrongs. No censorship, especially online, but also in real life. We have members throughout society and all stratas of it worldwide, yet we have no leadership. It's a one voice. It's, it's not individual voices. That's why we don't show our faces. That's why we don't give our names. We're speaking as one, and it's a collective. Good timing. So the FBI shows up at 6 in the morning, and they drag me out into the cold, and there's guns and the little LED flashlight in the vest. It was really obnoxious. If you so much as sneeze on someone's tablet and the government's not happy about it, then you're a hacker. Right now, you could argue that the most powerful people on Earth are a bunch of nameless, faceless 17 to 35 year olds. It's like the hacker ruling class, right? It's my community. It's my culture. I identify with the not. Whether they had a tiny, tiny part, or whether they had a, a substantive part in the Arab Spring, or a toppling of Tunisia and Egypt, Egyptian governments, individual, young, nameless, faceless folks are having geopolitical impact. It's, it's, it's both exhilarating to realize that and terrifying to realize that. It kind of depends on how that power is wielded.